Hello everyone and welcome to Know Your Drug. The ultimate destination for all things of health and wellness from the fascinating world of pharmaceutical. We are here to guide you on Cefixime tablet, exploring the various aspects of Cefixime, their usage, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and most importantly, essential advice for taking them safely and responsibly. Before we begin, let me emphasize that the content provided in this channel is purely educational. Always consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice regarding medications. Now, let's get started. Use of Cefixime Tablet Cefixime is an antibiotic medication that belongs to the class of drugs known as cephalosporins. It is commonly used to treat various bacterial infections. Here are some specific conditions where cefixime may be prescribed. In respiratory tract infections, cefixime can be used to treat respiratory tract infections such as bronchitis, pneumonia, and sinusitis. In urinary tract infections, it is effective in treating urinary tract infections, including cystitis and pyelonephritis. In ear infections, cefixime is sometimes prescribed for middle ear infections caused by susceptible bacteria. In gonorrhea, cefixime was historically used as a first-line treatment for gonorrhea. However, due to the increasing prevalence of antibiotic resistance in the bacteria that cause gonorrhea, the recommendations for treatment have changed in many regions. In other infections, cefixime is also prescribed with other medications for wound treatment. It is important to note that cefixime should only be used to treat bacterial infections and is not effective against viral infections like the common cold or flu. Dosage of cefixime tablet the dosage of cefixime tablet can vary depending on the specific condition being treated, the severity of the infection, and individual factors such as age, weight, and overall health. It is essential to follow the dosage instructions provided by your healthcare professional or the instructions on the medication label. Here are some general guidelines for the usual recommended dosages. For respiratory tract infections, urinary tract infections, middle ear infections, the typical dosage for adult is 400 mg once daily or divided into two doses of 200 mg each. The dosage for children is determined based on their weight and is usually prescribed as a once daily dose or divided into two doses. Additionally, it's crucial to take the complete prescribed course of cefixime, even if you start feeling better, in order to ensure effective treatment and prevent the development of antibiotic resistance. Mechanism of Action of Cefixime Tablet Cefixime, as a cephalosporin antibiotic, works by inhibiting the growth and multiplication of bacteria. Its mechanism of action is similar to other drugs in the cephalosporin class. Here's a general overview of how cefixime works. Inhibition of bacterial cell wall synthesis Cefixime interferes with the formation of the bacterial cell wall which is an essential structure that provides strength and rigidity to the bacteria. It does this by inhibiting the activity of enzymes called penicillin binding proteins, PBPs, that are responsible for cross-linking the components of the cell wall. By disrupting the cell wall synthesis, cefixime weakens the bacterial cell wall, making it more susceptible to rupture and eventual cell death. Broad-spectrum activity, cefixime exhibits activity against a wide range of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. It is particularly effective against bacteria that commonly cause respiratory tract infections, urinary tract infections, and middle ear infection. Resistance to beta-lactamases, cefixime is stable against many beta-lactamases, which are enzymes produced by bacteria that can break down and inactivate certain antibiotics. This property allows cefixime to remain effective against beta-lactamase-producing bacteria, increasing its spectrum of activity. Bactericidal action, cefixime exerts a bactericidal effect, meaning it kills bacteria rather than just inhibiting their growth. By disrupting cell wall synthesis, cefixime weakens the bacterial cell envelope, leading to cell lysis and death. It's important to note that cefixime specifically targets bacteria and is not effective against viruses. It is crucial to use antibiotics judiciously and only when prescribed by a healthcare professional to prevent the development of antibiotic resistance. Side Effects of Cefixime Tablet 
Like any medication, cefixine can potentially cause side effects, although not everyone experiences them. The most common side effects reported with the use of cefixine tablets include gastrointestinal effects, allergic reactions, superinfections, central nervous system effects. Some individuals may experience changes in taste, decreased appetite, elevated liver enzymes, vaginal itching or discharge, and rare cases of blood disorders. It is worth mentioning that antibiotics can disturb the natural balance of bacteria in the gut, potentially leading to antibiotic-associated diarrhea or an overgrowth of a bacterium called Clostridium difficile, which can cause a severe infection. If you develop persistent or severe diarrhea during or after taking cefixine, it's important to inform your healthcare professional. Always consult your healthcare professional or pharmacist for a complete list of possible side effects and for guidance on how to manage them. They can provide personalized information based on your medical history and current medications. Important advices for using cefixine tablet. When using cefixine tablets, it's important to follow certain advice and precautions to ensure safe and effective use of the medication. Here are some important points to keep in mind. Follow the dosage instructions provided by your healthcare professional or the instructions on the medication label. Take the prescribed amount of cefixine at the recommended intervals and for the full duration of treatment. Before starting cefixine, inform your healthcare professional about any existing medical conditions, including allergies, kidney or liver problems, or a history of gastrointestinal disease. Finish the complete prescribed course of cefixine, even if your symptoms improve. Stopping the medication early may allow the bacteria to survive and lead to a relapse or the development of antibiotic resistance. Cefixine can be taken with or without food. However, taking it with food can help reduce the risk of gastrointestinal side effects such as nausea or stomach upset. Keep cefixine tablets in their original packaging in a cool and dry place, away from direct sunlight and moisture. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of the use, dosage, mechanism of action, side effects, and important advice for taking suffixing tablet. Remember, knowledge is power, and being well-informed empowers you to make the best decisions for your health.